car is heavily modified. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, that's Fireball Tim, man. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? Check out Fireball Viva Log. What episode are we going to do today? Uh, this is probably 1001. 1001. I'm Ken Vella. Good morning. Good morning. We are at Legacy Cars and Coffee in Tustin. Mm -hmm. Today is Shelby Day. Shelby. So I guess there's Shelby's around. Yeah, there's quite a few. Mustangs and uh, I see uh, Cobras. One that was actually a Shelby original build. Where? Right there. Oh, that's right. That's the true Shelby right there. <laughs> There's also a Sunbeam Tiger. And many other cars too. Right there. You make this car look very tiny. Thank you. Uh, Doug Campbell, what's up, buddy? Hey, man. Just uh, cars, coffee, friends, people, uh, if you sunshine. If you don't know Doug and Hillbank and Superformance, you're living under a rock because you guys are the number one place for uh, Cobras and, and all things cool. Daytona Coupes, even Corvette Grand Sports. That's right. But you have almost nothing on your showroom floor right now. It's a, it's a little desolate compared to what it <laughs> normally is, but we do still have plenty of cars. We, yeah. have, we still have about 40, 50 cars in the okay. inventory. Yeah. All right. We still have to come by. Yeah. Uh, we've been down there before. but uh, so and we're making more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. You're making them like hot, <laughs> stamping them out like Hot Wheels. So uh, how many cars do you guys sell a year? Around 350 to 400 cars a year. And that's been consistent for how long? Oh gosh, um, you know, back when the economy really took a dive back in 07, 08, it, it uh, dropped quite a bit, but it's been steadily building back it, up. It and dropped to like, you know, 175 cars. Yeah, so, so I think really even worse than that. It's like bad. But <laughs> has, has COVID like affected nuts. what you guys are doing at all, or do people want to get out and drive? It's uh, incredibly affected. It's like, you know, my sales are double last year. Wow. So people have time to shop. Yep. You know, one of the things you're not restricted on is you can get out and drive a car and enjoy it. Yeah, it's one of those anger cars, too. You just can haul ass, and it makes you feel <laughs> so much better. You kind of release if some you tension. Wanna, if you're feeling trapped and you want to feel free, yeah. uh, jumping in a Cobra with 500 horsepower mm -hmm. and donuts, you know. Hey, I mean, go get donuts. I don't encourage. Uh, you know, we any, don't condone that kind of any behavior. kind of uh, any, no. But uh, if you want to go do some donuts later, we can. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so uh, Hillbank, uh, what's the website? Uh, www.hillbankusa.com. Okay. If you're into you'll see all our inventory, mm -hmm. we've got all kinds of cool stuff. Like you said, all the Cobras. We got 289 Cobras, 289 FIA Cobras, 427 Cobras. Uh, Daytona Coupes, GT40, Mark 1, I, Mark 2, II, Corvette Grand Sport, and the Cobras. We have the Superformance licensed replicas, the only one licensed by Shelby, and then we have the Shelby continuation cars, Fantastic. fiberglass, aluminum, whatever you want. Everything. And if you uh, call up Doug and ask for the special Fireball discount, you get a cup of coffee while you're there. And a hat. <laughs> Cars and Coffee, this is Shad, and you know, you come down here, expect to see Shelby Cobras, which are fast. True. Yeah. Uh, not quite as fast, it seems, as your car. 
Uh, some would say, but it depends on where the motor is. I think they have a problem with motor placement, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, That's among other things. Fix. Yeah, I think Doug over at Hillbank uh, probably loves your car. Uh, but Appreciate this that. is, this is a, a Pantera that's been uh, slightly modified. You could say that slightly in the uh, most exuberant terms right. of slightly. Uh, I heard you overheard you saying somehow uh, somewhere between 800 and 1200 horse, depending on how you. Uh, Basically tune and gas. Okay. But that's what we're estimating now. Okay. So uh, it doesn't really like dyno sessions. Right. The body was done in the 80s, all out of metal, hand fabricated, so it's one of a kind. But the rest we've done from scratch. Basically okay. a lot of R and D and and a lot of uh, experimentation. The best parts, believe it or not, is reliability. I think we've worked through that over the last 10 years of development. But you know, it runs a modern Lamborghini transaxle. It's six speed. Has a really lightweight clutch, dual disc clutch. Uh, you know, the engine itself is multi port fuel injected. It's all computer managed by fast exit pod. So there's really no issues with reliability. The, you know, the fun part is just being able to hammer it yeah. in certain areas yeah. where it's yeah. legal. 